Dr. Peter Glidden, your steadfast advocate for health, honest to God, sometimes I think I'm living in an alternate universe. So, breaking news, March the 4th, 2020, there's a lawyer, a 50-year-old lawyer in New York City, who's in serious condition, hospitalized now with the coronavirus. So, most people look at that and they think, oh my God, what's going to happen, right? The earth, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. And I tend to agree, <clears throat> but not because of the way that most people think. Here's the deal. This human being, a successful, uh, uh, ostensibly successful lawyer in his, in his 50s, in Manhattan, I'm assuming he's got, you know, he's not hurting for money, uh, has probably been paying uh, hundreds, if not thousands of dollars a month his entire life for medical insurance premiums. And what did that get him? Well, he has, one of the reasons he's so sick with the coronavirus is because he had pre-existing respiratory conditions that the medical doctors were not able to cure. And this is a very important point for people to understand. Your medical doctor may be the nicest person that God ever created, but your medical doctor doesn't practice medicine. Your medical doctor practices allopathic medicine, MD-directed pharmaceutical centrist medicine, which is fantastic for trauma care, emergency medicine, and surgery when it's necessary. But medical doctors don't practice health care. They practice disease management. So you go to them, you've got a lung condition, the medical doctor has no idea what causes it and no idea how to cure it, so they just give you drugs to manage it. And as you take the drugs to manage the problem, you get sicker and sicker and weaker and weaker, and then you get hit by something with the coronavirus, and it's not good. So, you know, this person ostensibly spending hundreds of thousands of dollars throughout his life for medical insurance for himself and his family was left high and dry by conventional medical system. And this is the problem, ladies and gentlemen. The problem here, as outlined by the coronavirus, is not <clears throat> that there's a virus going around the country. It's that we don't have a free medical market. And the medicine that everybody has access to the medical doctors are not trained how to cure things, or in this case, how to strengthen this guy's uh, respiratory system. The naturopathic doctors do, licensed and regulated naturopathic doctors, but we're only allowed to practice in 20 states in the United States. Does that mean that the laws of nature or science change because you cross a state line? No. It's a reflection of the monop the extreme monopolization of the medical marketplace, which has existed, by the way, since 1912. That's 108 years of medical market monopolization. And this monopoly is so strong uh, and embedded into the cultural ethos that most people are not even aware that it's a monopoly. They're just completely unaware of it. So as, you know, Alzheimer's skyrockets and autism skyrockets and no change in heart disease after 50 years of statin drugs, instead of criticizing the medical marketplace inside of which all of this happened, people give the MDs a pass. And this can only happen inside of a monopoly. And you mark my words, as more and more people get sick, I'm telling you, that it is a function of the monopolization of the medical marketplace. We need to let the naturopathic doctors to the table. We need to let the naturopathic doctors treat these people. We need to let naturopathic medicine be licensed in all 50 states and naturopathic medical treatments be covered by insurance providers, for goodness sakes. This is what needs to happen. And when I see people being hammered by the coronavirus, I think, well, another failure of conventional medicine, for goodness sakes. My two cents worth, food for thought. I am and always will be, God willing, in the creek don't rise, coronavirus be damned. Your steadfast advocate for health, Dr. Peter Glidden, live long and prosper. God willing, the creek don't rise, I'll see you around campus.